I'm ready, hun. Hi guys, last time I saw you guys, I was 17. I am now 18. I just wanted to get that out of the way. That has nothing to do with today's video, I just wanted to get it out of the way. So now that that's over, let's talk about what we're doing today. I sound like I'm talking to a class. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be learning about shapes. Anyway, so I've been a little bit MIA for like the past seven days or so. No, like two weeks almost because I was sick. I had one of the worst sicknesses I've ever had this past week. I could not do shit. I couldn't leave my house. I couldn't cook for myself. I couldn't fucking get up and go to the bathroom. I felt so shitty. Ugh. Luckily, I'm good now. But anyway, I was sick as fuck for seven days. And as you might imagine, I was bored. I was really bored because I was just laying on my couch watching my TV for seven days. As you can imagine, as the seven days passed, I started watching weird shit on the internet. You can only spend so many hours on YouTube watching shit before you just accidentally start watching weird shit. Like, it just happens. I stumbled upon some weird stuff, some satisfying stuff, some cool stuff. Like, I stumbled upon a bunch of stuff. So in today's video, I decided in honor of me no longer being sick, in honor of all of the amazing content creators that created the content that kept me entertained while I was sick. In today's video, I'm going to recreate all of the weird fucking videos that I watched while I was sick. I'm going to recreate all of the types of videos I watched while I was sick. I hope that makes sense. So let's get started. I need to explain to you the types of videos that I was watching so that you're not just completely confused because like we have to have some sort of structure in this video or else. <laughs> The first type of video I stumbled upon was frozen food reviews. Hello, food fans. Today we're going to make something that's relatively easy to prepare. And I get to lick the spoon, so that is good. Everything is cooked very nicely. It's ready to eat. This might seem a little bit confusing. Like, what? Why? Well, there's a backstory. In my explore page, I saw this video called Eating Watermelon with My Clone. So naturally, I clicked on that and I watched that video. It was a great video. I liked the video so much that I clicked on this man's channel. And while I was scrolling through his channel, another video caught my eye and it was a video about a frozen dinner and him reviewing it. So I clicked on that. Next thing I know, I had watched literally 30 videos straight of this man reviewing frozen dinners. And I couldn't stop. Hello, food lovers. Today we're going to be eating eating this veggie veggie loaf frozen dinner. This was only a few bucks from the store. Never tried this one before, so I'm pretty excited, a little bit nervous. So it just says to cook for four minutes. So let's do that. Alrighty, well, on the instructions it says that you're supposed to take it out after microwaving for four minutes and mix around the potatoes. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and then put it back into the paper. Or maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. Hold on, let me look it up. Ooh, does that look scrumptious? Alright, we're gonna plop this back in the oven for one more minute. Alright, well, I cooked it for another minute and then I let it sit and it's time to eat. So let's try these veggies. Mmm, not too bad. The sauce from over here kind of seeped over here. Tastes pretty good to me, I'm not gonna lie. I think I kind of like that. Let's try the potatoes. Also good. Lacking in the salt department. Nothing you couldn't fix at home. Now let's try the loaf. Ooh. Oh, what's in there? Okay. The flavors are good. The texture is a little bit mushy, but what do you expect with a loaf? I think overall I'm gonna give this a four out of 10. Uh, I wouldn't eat it again, but I don't hate it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed and uh, thank you so much for watching. All right. The next type of video that I was binge watching was these videos from the channel Hollywood Fix. Hey, what's up, Dr. Phil? How are you today? Good, how are you? I don't know, I can't think of that. <laughs> Have a good day. Watch out, watch out. Okay, I will. Now Hollywood Fix is like this How do I explain this? They're like these almost paparazzi videos where this guy goes to popular locations in LA and waits for celebrities to come and show up so that he can interview them. Kind of without asking, he just shows up and is like, hey! They've interviewed a bunch of people that we know and love, like YouTubers, people like Justin Bieber. Like they interview everyone. 
And they're pretty fucking entertaining to watch. Yo, yo, so uh, standing outside of Alfred on this fine Wednesday morning and I, uh, pretty sure that's Emma Chamberlain in that white car right there, but not not for sure. She might be going to get some Alfred, pretty sure that's a popular spot for her. I guess, uh, guess I will find out as she, uh, she makes movements. Oh, 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 I think she's getting out. Yeah, that's, that's Emma Chamberlain. That's Emma Chamberlain. That's Emma Chamberlain. Yeah, yeah. Yo. Oh, she looks like she's running. All right, we'll catch up with her later. Yo, 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 Emma. Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain. Yo. Yo, how are you today? I'm um, all right. Yeah? I'm all right. Yeah? Yeah. What are you doing on this fine morning? How you been? Um, you know, um, just got my coffee. Yeah, uh, what'd my, you get? Uh, I forgot. Cold brew with espresso in it. It's pretty good. Try it sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Emma, the word on the block is that, uh, is that you don't shower. But, uh, <laughs> here at the Hollywood Six, we like to believe that, uh, that you, that you shower. So what's your favorite shower product, Emma Chamberlain? All right, yeah, I mean, I'm really into the back scrub brush. I think that shit really helps. I do have back knee, so maybe cut that part out. All right. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, uh, Emma, Emma, Emma. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so, uh, is, 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 uh, is, uh, <laughs> no, so, uh, Emma, you, uh, you've been working on a podcast recently called, uh, Stupid Genius, right? That's true. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how do you determine if someone is a stupid genius or if they're just stupid or just genius? I asked them a quick little question about usually something like, I don't know, like, <laughs> bro, you good? You just tripped a little bit. Yeah, no, 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 Emma, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm out in the field a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know, I usually just ask them a little question, maybe, like, about politics or something, see what they say. And then I go from there. Yeah, yeah, well you've been looking pretty fresh recently. You've been rocking a lot more designer than usual, leading people to believe that Ellie's changed you. Do you feel like Ellie's changed you, Emma? <laughs> you know, I think it's helped me evolve yeah. as a person. I wouldn't say it's changed me though. I think I'm still the same old me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, uh, well uh, what's your favorite designer brand right now, Emma? You know, after going to a few Louis Vuitton shows, I'm gonna have to say Louis Vuitton. I don't know, they're just a classic classic yeah yeah so emma so uh I, I i've heard that you're a frequent uh customer of alfred coffee is that true that's true are they the best coffee in town emma you know phil's might have to be a close second i'm not gonna lie to you bro and uh do you feel like the amount of coffee that you ingest sorry i'm yelling because there's a truck do you feel like the amount of coffee that you ingest affects your bowel movements <laughs> absolutely yeah, on a yeah. daily basis yeah, yeah. i mean I haven't had a solid shit in months. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh so uh uh what do what if you could say one thing to your fans right now, Emma, what would you say? I'd say hey, be yourself. Diarrhea is normal. And be yourself, alright? Don't forget about that. Yeah, Emma, so uh so uh so uh <laughs> wait, wait. there's rumors on the block that um that um <laughs> yo, 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 Emma, so yo. Uh, there's been a big debate recently around these parts about whether or not wearing socks without tennis shoes or tennis shoes without socks is an, oh, <laughs> is an unnecessary tactic. All right. What's your opinion on people who like to wear their tennis shoes without socks? You think that's gross or you think they're doing the most? <laughs> yo, I'm going to be real with you. If you don't want your socks to show, wear no show socks. It's yeah. not 1975, all right? This shit exists. Yeah, yeah, Wearing sneakers without socks is a recipe for a bad smell, all yeah, right? Yeah. And I know about bad smells because I don't shower. For sure, right? for sure, yeah. for sure. So uh, my last question for you, Emma. You're going to fall in a pothole right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. You really look out for your fans. That leads me to my final question, or maybe my second to final question. I feel like I have a few more. All right. Um, what, How's your relationship with the people who watch you? Yo, we're homies, all of us. Everybody who watches my videos is my best friend. We're all just a big squad of homies. Yeah, those are my bros, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Emma, how do you see the out of those glasses, though, Emma? Yo, I can't see shit right now. <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, and uh, maybe my final question is, would you mind ending this off with, like, an interpretation of your favorite vine? <laughs> Ugh. My name Jeff. All right, oh, fuck funny. off. No, no, no. Maybe one more question. Maybe just one more question, Emma, since we're not at your car yet. All right, let's do um, it. Um, so I hear that you've been taking Soul Cycle a lot recently. Yes. Well, uh, my question for you is, does the bike ever hurt your ass? 
<laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've had a few ass bruises from Soul Cycle, but that's why I keep coming back. Cause I think that's a little fun. You are gonna, no, you can't walk backwards in this area. <laughs> you just, you can't. <laughs> You're looking really fresh recently. I just wanna say thank you for taking the time to talk to Hollywood Six. Oh, 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 big jump, Emma, big jump, nice. Thank you so much for talking to us, Emma. You're the realest of the real. We'll be sure to catch up with you later and have a good day, Emma. Yo, she was so nice. This is Emma Chamberlain, interview Wednesday, October 96th. Having the best day of the summer. Yeah, bye Emma! Peace out. Yo, 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 Emma, 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 how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Good, killing it, crushing it, you look great, you look good. Thank you. Yeah, so I just have one question for you really quick, Emma. All right. Um, um, so people recently have been concerned about the fact that you possibly switch from coffee to tea, and I was just curious, I mean, based on your, uh, your car, it doesn't look like that's the case, but I'm just curious if that's the truth. What caused that transition for you, Emma? Yeah, no, well, you see, I was sick. For, oh man, Emma, I'm so weeks. sorry. I'm I'm alright now, but Yeah, that's not cool though. Yeah, it wasn't. Like it, that post Coachella sickness, yeah? No, I had another one. Oh wow. After wow, that. Wow. Yeah, and I was wow, not. Emma, okay. you're so freaking brave and strong. I know. You fought your way through that, man. I know I did. I'm proud of you. Thank you. And and then uh, you know, and I went and I got and I got some breakfast and um and yeah. I just, and I was like, coffee might get me fucked up, so I need to like Tone it down and drink some tea. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you get breakfast at, Emma? Yo, I don't fucking know what yeah. the name of it was. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Well, it looks like you're trying to get out of here, so I'll let you go. But yeah, thank you so much for talking to the Hollywood Six today, Emma. Yeah, thank you. Thank Yo. you. Yeah, have a good one, Emma. Yeah. Have a good one. Yo, that was Emma Chamberlain. Sweetest girl in the world. She's so nice. She talks to us all the time. Really, really, really cool. So that's that. That's this interview for January 5th, 2090. <laughs> yo, so Emma, Emma, Emma. Yo. yo, you've had a pretty insane year. And uh, and uh, it's clear to see that you're freaking killing it, man. Yo, like everyone's you. so proud. Whoa, 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 Emma, Emma. Is this your car, Emma? It is. What'd dude. you do there, Emma? How'd you do that? Oh, bro. How'd you do Shit. that, Emma? You have a ma you have an accident? No. Are you okay, Emma? Yeah. Is your neck okay, Emma? What happened, Emma? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you emotional. Is this something hard that you've gone through that you want to talk about with Yo. your fans, Emma? Do you want the people to know about your accident? I've been trying to keep this from you guys, but... I was driving into my garage. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Day. I drive into my garage too, Emma. That's something we have in common. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, and like, I just fucking like turned too fast and like I dent. Hey! <laughs> Don't fucking look there. Yo, Emma, is that a dog in there? Yeah. Yo, what? yo, yo, what's up, little man? Yo, Emma, your dog looks pretty That's whack. A girl. Your your dog looks pretty whack. It's not even my How dog. How long have you had a dog? It's Emma? not even my fucking dog. Oh yo 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 yo, what's up, Mr. Scruffin? Sorry it's a about girl. your accident, and uh, I wish you the best this year, Emma. I know you're gonna keep killing it. Thank you. Look you. fresh. You look fine. Like the world isn't ready for you, Emma. All right, Thank have a good right. one. See you later. Have Bye. All right. Emma Chamberlain getting into her car. Gosh, should I make you at Mel's? Looks like she's gonna exit now. Bye, Emma. Bye! <laughs> Looks like she's having some trouble getting in the car. Those things can be difficult when you're under the stress of a recent accident and a dog. But she's gonna start the vehicle soon. Yo, that was uncalled for, man. You cannot judge me for this one, please. My friend Amanda and I were sitting on my couch. We were watching YouTube on the TV, and we stumbled upon boyfriend ASMR. Does your head hurt? Yeah. What about your stomach? Are you feeling a little bit not uh, nauseous? Oh, okay. Don't worry, babe. We can check. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but whenever I was sick, I used to be really scared of thermometers. Boyfriend ASMR is like, well, how do I even describe it? It's pretty fucking weird. It's basically where these teen boys act like they're your boyfriend and do it in ASMR. And me and Amanda were fucking 
crying, sitting on my couch, watching this shit, because it's so funny. And I'm actually so excited to recreate this. Let's do it. Good morning, babe. How'd you sleep last night? Good? Same. Are you feeling better after you... Because you were just sick? Oh no, you're not feeling good? When I get up, I'll get you a water. We need to get you hydrated, okay, babe? Me and you didn't really get to catch up last night because I got home late from work. How was your day yesterday? That's amazing. I hope you and Shelby had fun. Okay, well, what are you up to today? That's amazing. Babe, have I ever told you that you look so beautiful in the morning? I tell you that a lot. It's because it's true. Babe, I've been thinking. I know we're just 17, but I think we should get married soon. No, I'm serious. We could run away. Me and you, and go run away to fucking um, uh, R Russia or something. Nobody could find us. Not even mom and dad. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a thought. Why aren't you down for it? Babe. We're not too young. Babe. You're telling me you want to finish high school and live a normal life and you don't want to elope to Russia? Babe. No, babe. Hey. Stop crying. I'm sorry I scared you with my ambitious ideas. Let's just act like that didn't happen. I'm sorry. My love for you got the best of me. I just want to be with you forever. Because you're my baby. <laughs> Can't do this anymore. You know, it's weird. Like, we've been dating for like two months. I mean, we're really like getting close, you know? Like me and you, like, I feel like I know, I feel like I've known you forever, you know? But like, I still don't know that much about you. So like, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'll ask you some questions if you want. All right. What's your favorite color? Mmm. Magenta's my favorite, too. Actually, it's not. I just said that because I wanted to agree with you. But it's okay. <laughs> What's your favorite food? <laughs> Split pea soup? It's fucking weird. People don't usually really like that, but whatever. <laughs> or do you like to go on the weekends? Trampoline parks. It's kind of weird too. You know what, babe? I don't really like this game. I don't. I think that there's some things that it's probably better if I don't know about. Anyway, I forgot you were feeling sick earlier. When I asked you that, if you were feeling sick, you know, you said you were feeling sick because you woke up feeling sick. Do you want me to go get you a glass of water? No, it's totally fine. I can. It's not a big deal. No, I'm serious. I'll go get you a glass of water. But first, let me give you a little kiss. Ugh, that sound was disgusting. I have to do that again. How was that? I've been working on that. All right, fine. I'll go get you a glass of water. You stay here, all right? Don't leave, okay? Just stay right here. I'll be right back for you. I'll come back for you, okay? I'll get you a glass of water. All right. See you in a sec, babe. Stay safe in here. Don't go running off or anything. I love you. This is very obvious. This is like not even weird. This is like not even unusual. This is not rare. There's nothing unique about this type of video and it's soap cutting ASMR.
But I'm not kidding you though. I watched hours worth of soap cutting on my TV. I would look up soap cutting ASMR compilation and I would just watch the whole hour and it never got old. So that happened. Ooh. Oh man, that's nice. Ooh. Okay, I swear to God, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh my God, it's not gonna work, huh? No! That is not the result I wanted. Dang it. Okay, it's still kind of cool though, I guess. No! Okay, that was fucking annoying. Ooh. Why does soap cutting take talent? What did we learn from this? And also these soaps smell so bad. Why do these soaps all smell bad? Do not buy this soap, it smells bad. Oh my God, I almost just cut my fucking finger off. Don't try this at home, kids. Ew, the soap smells bad. Okay, I'm done with this soap. It's, it's too, it smells too bad. <gasps> wow, this is kind of fun. Okay, that was kind of fun, I guess. This is just not working out. I'm not doing this right. Now I'm just getting mad. Fuck this shit. I don't know how to do it. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. You know, it's weird, like when you see people do things on the internet, it makes you want to try it. So this video was very satisfying for me because I feel like it was like something I wanted to do and then I got to do it. So I'm really glad we got to do this together. I'm also just grateful I'm not sick anymore. I was not okay. At all. Glad we're doing better now. Okay, well, I love you guys a lot and uh, you're awesome. Hope you guys are happy and healthy. Don't get sick, swear to God. I have new merch, so go buy that if you want. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Buy my merch, please. Is it kind of fun? Okay, bye. It's a link in bio. Link in bio. That kind of seemed like weirdly sexual. Okay, bye.